Hello. Um. Hi. Uh, so, we're here again. Uh, and as they say in showbiz, I've got 20 minutes to kill, so we're reading another one. Um. It's a little miss scary. I, this was chosen by random. This was the first one, and I was just like, why not? It's not, I had a good day today, it's just, I feel f a bit physically tired, and I just, I don't know. I feel good, but like, just not great. You know, it's very stylized, it's very pretty. Maybe I can get this under 20 minutes, sub 20 minutes, is it possible? Can we gold? Can we gold? Oh my goodness. A uh, little miss scary, Roger Hargraves. It doesn't actually say bye, because this was released in like 2003, so it was written by his son. Yeah, written and illustrated by Adam Hargraves. So I still don't actually know. I still didn't take the time to research whether the name is used because he basically just finished out all of his father's ideas or, you know, what happened. But he just writes under Roger because it's easier because that's who it's known. Uh, it's a very interesting stylized title. That's the first time I've actually... I don't think that any of the other ones had that. That's just kind of interesting. So let's just let's just jump into it. Um, maybe we'll learn something, maybe we won't. I don't think it can get worse than Mr. Nobody. Are you ready? Little Miss Scary lived near the top of a mountain in a house called Spooky Cottage. When it was dark, she would creep into the valley below, making sure nobody saw her. So, already, um, the, my book is coming apart supposed to be glued here so you can see the seam doesn't look quite right because it's not supposed to come out that far that's unfortunate um it's a very nice uh, landscape por portrait i would assume it can be assumed that scary cottage is at the top where she lives um and it's very you know it's a good start good setup um I appreciate it. I mean, Little Miss Scary, we obviously have some context clues. She's scary. Um, it's unclear whether she likes being scary, though. Um, however, this would imply that she takes joy in hunting in the night. So, also, she lives in Spooky Cottage, so I mean, that's kind of how it goes. I can't believe my book's broke can't believe it and there she would wait very quietly until somebody came along it's really not a lot on these first pages it's very short and sweet nothing crazy she's hiding behind a tree um hopefully she doesn't kill whoever comes out next that would be yeah i mean i feel like i if this book turned into like the murder trial of miss scary i think that would be kind of funny but i i doubt it i have doubts and when somebody, and and when that somebody did, she would tiptoe up behind them, open her mouth wide, and shout the N word. It was a bad joke. That is a very scary thing. Racism is a very frightening thing. How it's still is so relevant in society. Not relevant, but like so. There's so much of it in society still. Is Loma scary racist? Is that why she's scary? Does she not wear masks? Is she anti-vax? Boo. So, uh, all of my assumptions were wrong. Little Miss Scary says the word boo. Um, in my personal life, this has worked a few times in recent memory, one of which was my father, um, lurking the halls at night uh, me quietly saying boo behind him and he he jumped a bit and then another was a very quiet discord group call um and it was dead for a while and then i just said boo and i i was able to frighten people so that's it's cool so i can empathize with a little bit scary um So far, it just seems like she likes scaring people. And I guess that's the basis of a book. So. And do you know why Little Miss Scary did this? For fun. 
You see, she loved to scare people more than anything else in this world, and she was very good at it. That basically just said exactly what I had inferred. So there's no groundbreaking revelations here, because I basically inferred that this was a hobby of hers. But, um... Say la vie. She scared them stiff. Boo. So I think the people of Mr. Land, uh, really, um, I don't know, it seems they've got some problems if somebody going up behind them in public and saying the word boo is enough to make them, like, leap. The, granted, I feel like this might be Little Miss Somersault, um, or Mr. Tall. I'm pretty sure it's Little Miss Somersault because I don't think Mr. Tall has a nose. As you can see, there's a red nose underneath, so it would actually make sense that, um, Little Miss Somersault jumps so high because she's obviously very athletic, especially in the leg department. Um, she scared them out of their wits. Boo. Uh, so we see Mr. Strong uh, running away from a spider on a stick. Um, so obviously, I feel like it can be inferred that Mr. Strong has arachnophobia because it's a very small spider on a stick. And you can you probably could have seen Mrs. Scary, Little Miss Scary. Maybe he's he's strong physically, but his mind ain't right. That says a lot about our society. Oh, she even scared them right out of their socks. Boo! You didn't have to do it to Mister Nervous. He's already nervous. He's already on edge as it is. He's a paranoid lad, and you didn't have to do him dirty. You didn't have to do him so dirty. Why? Why'd she do him so dirty? Oh my goodness. Is this it? Is this, like, there's still half a book, but there's only half a book, and so far it's... How, has it been the rule of three yet? I feel like somebody's just gonna not get scared, and she's gonna, like, scream her head off because she's pissed that no, the person's just not getting scared. Things are changing. About a week ago, Mr. Noisy went to see his friend, Mr. Nervous. Mr. Noisy was worried because he hadn't heard from his friend for a while. When he got to Mr. Nervous's house, he knocked on the door. That's, uh, understandable. Most people do knock on the door or ring the doorbell or text when they arrive at someone's home. They announce their entry. Most people, well, I mean, unless you're breaking and entering, that's kind of a different, different thing. So, what can, what can I say? Spookily, the door swung open by itself. Hello, called Mr. Noisy as softly. Oh, sorry. Hello? Called Mr. Noisy as softly as he could. Which for you and me would have been a shout. <sighs> then he heard a chattering noise coming from the bedroom. Let's move the microphone a bit closer. Too close. You're not supposed to see it. Magnificent. So I'm realizing that my it's very quiet on the audacity, but I think it's still loud enough that it'll pick me up clearly, but I mean, we'll see. Ooh, let's see what's going on. Mr. Noisy found Mr. Nervous hiding under his bed with teeth chattering in fear. Whatever's the... began Mr. Noisy, then he remembered himself. Whatever's the matter, Mr. Nervous? It's... It's l l little Miss s s Scary," chattered Mister Nervous, trembling in fear. She 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 keeps jumping out and shouting b b b b boo at me. Mister Noisy made Mister Nervous a cup of tea, calmed him down, and told him what they were going to do. Curb stomp, little Miss Scary. I improv that last little bit, but I feel like that could have been a little bit funny. If they were, um, so here's Mister Nervous enjoying his tea. I believe he's called Mr. Jelly uh, in the UK version, unless I don't actually know if this is the UK or US version. I think it's the US version because Canada doesn't have their own version because they're just kind of this weird like child of like US culture and UK culture, like more like UK politics and like grammar and that kind of that kind of like technicality stuff but more culturally similar to the United States that's irrelevant that doesn't matter I'm spewing just as it was getting dark they hid behind a bush beside the street that led up to Mr. Nervous's house they wait and 
They waited there until they saw Little Miss Scary's shadowy figure creeping past them. Creeper, aw oh man. Am I right? So, I assume that they're going to make an attempt on Little Miss Scary's life. That would be the only logical move in this area. So we shall see. Then Mr. Noisy and Little Miss... Nope. Then Mr. Noisy and Mr. Nervous crept out from their hiding place, tiptoed up behind Little Miss Scary, and, at the top of their voices, shouted... What are they gonna shout? I don't like how the te I don't like the teeth. The teeth make me uncomfy. I don't like the teeth. I don't like the teeth. Oh my goodness, guys, can you guess what they shouted? They shouted boo, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm losing my mind. Now at the top of Mr. Noisy's voice is a very loud place indeed, that's funny. I, I liked that, that, you know, how they, you know, it's the top of his voice, so they called it the, the place. It's funny. So loud that little Miss Gary leapt, leaped five feet in the air, and when she came down, she ran for her life. Yikes. She didn't stop running until she was hidden under her bed in her bedroom in Spooky Cottage at the top of the mountain. I don't think you'll be seeing much of her for a long while, Mr. Nervous, chuckled Mr. Noisy. Mr. Nervous? Mr. Nervous? But there was no sign of Mr. Nervous either. Mr. Noisy chuckled again and walked back to Mr. Nervous's house to have a look under Mr. Nervous's bed. I guess I didn't show the picture, I'm sorry, it's just him looking over the mountain. No substance. Um... Little Miss Scary didn't learn her lesson that scaring people is not that, that's not cool. There wasn't any, like, big revelation where she actually saw the negative effects of scaring people. No, it was just revenge. Which I mean, oh no, it fell. Oh no! Ah! So, I mean, it's just, it, I mean, it's a kid's book, so there's not always something to read into. And in this case, I'm really struggling to find how to read into it. Scaring people's bad, fighting fire, well, I mean, Mr. Noisy is meant to be, like, the good guy, the savior, because he did. He, he helped his dear pal Mr. Nervous out by fighting back against Little Miss Scary at her own game. So, I don't know, do not dish out what you are not willing to receive. These are, like, twisted parables that I'm trying to make sense of. Ech. It's... What are the ones I've read? Mr. Small, Mr. Nobody. And I've read another one, but I forget what it was. Mr. Worry? I think I read Mr. Worry, and Mr. Worry wasn't the greatest. We really struck gold with Mr. Small, and now it's just kind of a downhill spiral, but we're already in too deep. But I guess this is another... Tw we, we sub The sub-20 run was possible. I can't believe it. Can we get Walter Fan Cam some chat? The sub-20 run was possible. Can you believe it? We're golding. The new route was discovered. That's all I have to say about Little Miss Scary. I don't know, I guess that's the only really moral I can pull from it is do not dish out what you aren't willing to receive. It's a kid's book. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe the older ones are better that were actually written by Roger. I mean, I think all the... I know Mr. Nobody and Little Miss Scary were definitely written by Adam. And I'm not gonna say anything, but, like, it shows... Um, that's it I'm gonna not keep wasting your time I hope you're having a decent day if you aren't that's alright hopefully this made you feel I don't know just you know a, a fun little distraction for a little bit 
trying to find the meaning in children's books about very one-dimensional characters. Have a good day. At least try to. Bye bye. Toodles.